Pop on the kettle, warm up the teapot, and get ready to have a look at the worst dressed guests at King Charles's birthday parade. More than 200 horses, 400 musicians, and 1,400 soldiers were in attendance to wish Charles a happy almost 75th at the Trooping the Color Parade on June 17, 2023. They even busted out the Royal Air Force to do an impressive flyover with red, white, and blue contrails as top royal family members waved at the adoring subjects crowded below the Buckingham Palace balcony. The extravagant birthday celebration is a 275-year-old tradition, and although it was Charles' first as monarch, some of the guests looked like they'd attended the event annually. And while many of those guests shone in perfect outfits, others didn't make quite the same impact, including, strangely enough, the king himself. You would think that with all the months of preparation that went into the festivities, King Charles III would have had time to squeeze in a proper headwear fitting. However, the birthday boy's beehive-style bearskin hat sat so far down on his head that it was a wonder he could see where he was steering his trusty steed. The bear um, hard, wasn't it? Yeah, with the bear skin hat to yeah. see who exactly it was at first. Charles also appeared to be struggling with the gilded chain chin strap, as it refused to sit in its properly designated position and rose up to just under his bottom lip instead. Luckily, by the time he made it onto the balcony for the obligatory royal wave, Charles had shed the bearskin. The pomp and pageantry started at 10.30 a.m. local time because when it comes to the king's birthday celebration, nobody wants to be tardy for the party. In fact, the Daily Mail reports that at least one superfan camped out for an entire week to watch the ceremonial goings-on. So they were probably in prime position to watch the third young Cambridge trundle by. Prince Louis rocked a formal on the top, party on the bottom look, pairing his smart navy suit jacket, red tie, and navy socks with bright red knee-length shorts. The youngest son of William, Prince of Wales, and Catherine, Princess of Wales, sat sandwiched between Prince George and Princess Charlotte in their carriage, opposite their mom and Queen Camilla, and received some serious side-eye from his big sis as he fiddled with his nose for much of the journey. Clearly, Prince Louis was uh, not amused by the smell, the stench at Horse Guards Parade. Louis is a regular when it comes to showing off his royal legs, and it's not always weather-related. Express notes that the five-year-old was wearing his best shorts at the official Easter and Christmas royal events, too. But strange as it may sometimes look, it's not exactly uncommon. Etiquette expert William Hansen told Express, It's a very English thing to dress a young boy in shorts. Trousers are for older boys and men, whereas shorts on young boys is one of those silent class markers we have in England. Meanwhile, Brigitte, Duchess of Gloucester, wife to the late Queen Elizabeth II's cousin, Prince Richard of Gloucester, dialed it in for the day. She looked like she was off to a posh friend's barbecue rather than attending a right royally historic event. With her dark brown straw hat and brown and white striped linen dress, Brigitte stood in stark contrast to all the vivid colors surrounding her, appearing a tad drab by comparison. Perhaps she didn't want to outshine the leading players and simply blend it into the background. Or maybe she's feeling the financial pinch. Per The Guardian, despite being 30th in line to the throne, the Duke and Duchess have had to scrape by on a measly $12 million during their tenure. Finally, Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh, wife of Charles' youngest brother, Prince Edward, Duke of Edinburgh, was accompanied in her carriage by Sir Timothy Lawrence, husband of Anne, Princess Royal. The British royals do love themselves a hat, and Sophie was no exception. Wearing a wide-brimmed fascinator, she propped it up at a jaunty angle with a giant chiffon flower attached to the side. However, the enormous headpiece was conflictingly attention-grabbing compared to the toned-down cream of her outfit.